What is up, guys? Dick Video Zone here. Um, gonna have a little tutorial on this RSP server called. Uh, I kind of forget the name. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. Levan, Levan. I, I, I don't even know. I quit. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I'm love. I'm in love with the server. I've been playing it for about a week and a half now, which I'm pretty sure is a couple of days after the release because I do believe it's like a week and. 10 days old I'm not 100% sure but um I just want to give you guys a little tutorial about it give it a quick not quick and kind of going to go in depth and show everything they have to offer so um, when you first log in um, they give you an option that says if you want to go into like Iron Man or beginning um, I do believe there's only one choice which is like default and you have to like relog to move which is that one part that's kind of annoyed me but I only had to do it one time it's only a one time thing whenever you first join but sometimes people get confused and they think it's broken and they leave or something. I haven't really had that happen, but <laughs> I'm just saying it out loud. But, um, so here's all the stuff I start out with. Um, I don't know how the resolution is kind of weird. It kind of looks really retarded. But here's all the stuff that I look at, um, look at with this. I do believe 23 skills that you can do. 22. You can't do construction, which sucks, but you can still do all these little which is awesome. Um, I'm gonna show you some of the teleports they got. I mean, at the home, it looks fantastic. You got this guy. I think this is the tutorial guy or something like that. Um, but yeah, this is to lock your XP. So if you don't wanna, if you wanna lock or unlock it, um, we got. I do believe this is the achievement guy. Oh, this is the um, location guy. You can teleport to Falador, Varrock, Lumbridge, Camelot. This is the achievement guy. If you get a bunch of achievements, you can get these little um, bronze plate legs. What is this? Gold and Hellcat. Um, what else they got here? They got the Altars. You're able to switch between spell books. You can't do prayer because this is old school leaf. Um, yeah, obviously it is. Um, but yeah, you can switch your prayer by just clicking on this little thing. Um, different spell books have different locations, as I can show you. So now, so now I'm on the regular old fashioned one. Click monsters. You see uh, jungle demons, cave crack, and myth. Now if we click here again and go to monsters, you see there's different Ape Toll, Crash Island, Stronghold, Training Zone. So that's one thing I was really confused when I first started out. Didn't quite know and understand it that much until someone told me and I was like, okay, that's pretty cool. But um, that's awesome. Uh, you're able to use the outside just like you would you can put bones on it, get your prayer up and all that. We got the fairy here, which I don't even know what this does to be honest. Oh, this is oh this is agility points. I knew that. Um, sorry. <laughs> Uh, you got the Mage of Zamrock, which I think it teleports you to the, uh, yeah, it teleports you to the Abyss, which is pretty cool. Um, you can use the uh, home teleport even if you're in combat, which is, I like that feature a lot. I do believe if you trade him, he has something to offer. I don't know, maybe not. Never mind. We got the makeover guy, if you want to change what you look like. Um, we got this closed chest, which is for crystal keys when you defeat... Zerau, I don't I think I say you say it. Um here's the shopkeeper. He actually has a pretty good um good amount of starter stuff. Uh I've never really gotten to the trading tickets. But um he sells, you know, potions, lobsters, uh tabs, potions, just anti you know, stuff basic gear not gear, but miscellaneous stuff you can use. Um what else we got? Over here we got the PK supply right here, which is pretty cool. I didn't even notice this guy was here until I just was roaming around. <laughs> You can get your knees knot ear, you can get your uh, black dehyde stuff, you can get dragon daggers, dragon skim, so you can start off with maxing your attack. You got some prayer potions, full superset, you got some sharks, which is pretty expensive, they're 1k each. Um, rune arrows, rune crossbow, monkfish, restore points, all that. Um, you got the banker right here, which is pretty self explanatory. Um, the bank is pretty nice, you can't use slots, which kind of sucks. Uh, I didn't even know, is there press check thing here? What? Uh, I don't believe you can, here, let me try it real quick, just to make sure. If I can freaking put some in there. Oh, I'm, oh. Oh. Okay, I, per I didn't even know it put stuff in your bank. Okay, never mind. I, put stuff, I guess I put stuff in your bank. <laughs> so, <laughs> so you get all this in your bank when you first start out. I didn't even notice this. Wow, I'm freaking slow. Rip. <sighs> so let me showcase some stuff over here we got. Um, I think this guy sets you to, yeah, this, this where you can buy your quest cape and your skilling capes. Obviously, I have none, so I won't show it. But once you get a max level 99, it'll show in. Um, I do believe this is the iron guy. No, this is the skill reset guy. Apparently, you can send over, it's, wait, you just say it was 7 mil? 
Wait, wait, what did he say? I'm keep skipping it. The price is one M for skill and seven M for all skills. What? That makes no sense. Okay, whatever. Um, this is donator shop guy. I never, I haven't purchased donator. I don't know if I plan to. I don't really have an extra cash at the moment. But um, apparently on the website, which I have linked in the description below, you can buy donator points. And I think when you buy donator or extreme donator, I think you get points. I'm not quite. I don't think so. Um, but. Yeah, this is pretty nice stuff, and you got the mystery boxes, you got, the ram this is the Ram Party hat, that thing looks freaking awesome, and I want that. <laughs> you got all the piats right here, you got jack o lantern mask, you got, what is this, armor crossbow, and then you got the freaking toxic boat pipe, which apparently is really overpowered. <laughs> you got the pet shop right here, I do believe you have to kill, get the actual pet in order to get these. Like, if you lose your pet, you're able to, like, re-get it back again. So you can see it's end with the bias because you don't have obtained it from a boss. So you have to obtain it before you can like claim it, I guess. Or like if you lose it, you can redo it with that thing. Um, what the heck? Why is that table right there? Anyways, um, Iron Man instructor, you can switch to Iron Man, I think here. Um, I'm not a fan of Iron Man just because I've over what I've heard, you can't really do much with it. You can't trade or anything like that. So I don't like it that much. <laughs> Um, this is the security, which is why I made a new account. I want to show you guys. This is an awesome little feature they got going in here. Um, so you can like set up. It's like kind of like a bank pin, but as soon as you log in, it requires you to make a password. So you don't have to. So as soon as you log in, it it tells you, you put in your pin or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and make one. Um, so recommend features for all. Oh uh, yeah, enable it. Edition, consider yourself safe. I think when I re-log back in, I'll do it. Let me double check that real quick. Okay. Um, I forget what I do to do this. How did I, how did I do that? I don't know. I forget how I did that, to be honest. Did I talk to him? I, I, I don't know. I brain fart. <laughs> Uh, you got the PK point shop, which I'm not a fan of PKing, um, but you can buy a bunch of stuff with your PK points, which is pretty freaking cool. You got the, I didn't even notice they had any of this. I haven't even looked in here. You got the staff of light. You got the lime whip. You got bando skier, which is 2,000. I don't know how many points you get for killing someone. Now again, I don't. Not a big fan of uh, PKing that much. Um, you got the two of the side guys here. You can't sit there on top of each other. Uh, I do believe Rat Guy is for um, Slayer Shop, which is very awesome. Um, the first thing I bought was this Trident of the Seals, which is pretty cool. Um, it's kind of like an unlimited cast, um, never runs out, which is awesome. And it's only 150 points, which I got you know, fairly fast. I, forget, I don't know exactly how long. But I was debating on getting the, um, the Fury or the um, Trident, and I ended up getting the Trident. So um, I think I might get the Fury next, I'm not quite sure. Um, and then you got the guy who actually gives you the task. Um, you can get you can get a regular task like you normally I mean, yeah, like you normally would, or you can get like a stronger tower. I think it has bosses, so I can get a boss fight of fifty four over on which I do believe I know what those guys are. Um, the thing I didn't know is that you can get this thing right here. You can actually it's free. You can get it. You can activate it. And then you can show like where is my location, and it shows you where it's at. I didn't know that. I didn't even know that was freaking on here. What's that? Oh, so I, I didn't know that was on there. So I was like, okay, that's pretty awesome. So that's all things at home. I'm sorry if I'm kind of rushing this. I don't really mean to. <laughs> but um, now we're gonna go over to the um account information. You got your kills, your agility points, your pest control points, slayer points, vote points, which I don't think it's working right now. I think they're working on the votes donation point um. Wait, donation total? Oh, I guess it's the full amount you t um, donate. PK points and free quests, which I don't believe there's anything in there. Um, so that's pretty much all like the uh, custom little tabs they got going on here, I guess you can say. So with the teleporters, you obviously got the home teleport, which will teleport you to Edgeville, which is right here at this exact location. Um, you also got the PP teleports, so you have the teleport to Vrock PP, Mage Bank. Yeah, it tells you if they're multi or 1v1. It's pretty cool. Um, Grave Drive and Castle Drags. I don't really know what. I don't, again, I don't really go pooping, so I don't know the spots. You got the location um, teleport, which you got the far farming um, patches. You got the hunting grounds. 
uh, Karamage and Jungle and Skilling. Uh, I should go to the Skilling, skilling area. Uh, area. Well, I can't talk. So here you got a bunch of stuff going here. You got the furnace and you got the anvil for um, smithing. You got the gnome trainer, which is going to be agility. You got the wood woodsman tutor. Tut ah, tutor. I can't. Sp I can't speak today. Um, where you can like get a certain amount of wood and give it to him, and he'll give you a certain amount of points. I think you can use those points towards certain. Um, yeah, you can exchange points. I'm gonna give. Afterwards, collecting your points. I think isn't there a shop? Oh yeah, open shop. So you can get. Uh, this is just for appearance, I guess. So you got all the trees right here. You got the regular tree. You got the oak. You got the willow, maple, ye, and rajic. Um, you got the farming patch, which I don't even think you can use really. You got the bank right here, which is pretty awesome. You got the fishing spots where you can just fish and bank right there. Really, really easy. Uh, what else we got over here? Let's click over here a little bit. Over here we got another fairy shopkeeper, which I don't even know what it sells. Oh, it sells uncut stuff. How much are these actually? 11k? God damn. So we got the rune pickaxe. You got the the essential stuff for skilling pretty much. You got all the um, fishing gear, which is pretty cool. You got the herald guy. This is for thieving, which is a rogue's end, which is pretty freaking cool. I like this place a lot. Um, so you just steal from these stalls right here. I'll just show you right quick. Just steal it. It gives you a bunch of XP because obviously it's boosted. You can just go down the line, get a bunch of points, and you can use the points towards stuff in this chest right here. Um, I think this just teleports you to here faster. I'm not quite sure. But I guess I'm going to be saving for the bone sack because why not? <laughs> it's like 250 points, I think, but, you know, why not? Uh, you got the fire right here, which I didn't even know that was there, to be honest. It's probably, I don't know if you can actually cook stuff on that or what. Um, you got the bank right here, which is pretty cool. And then you got this guy, which you can sell the stuff you get from stealing all these. So if I just sell, you can see that you can just sell it. And it's worth a certain amount of cash so you can make some money. Um, you got this guy, which I, I think he gives you like a full set of thief gear or something like that. You have to get like 78, I think. Yeah, oh, 79, close enough. So yeah, this is for um, thieving. Let's go back to uh, the skilling arena. Alrighty, over here we got the mining structure, which I didn't know about until someone showed me again because I'm a freaking noob. Um, so you talk to him and he'll teleport you to the mining area. Now here we got this is I do believe in Falador. I don't know if I can go up that staircase. Um, you got the iron. You got what is this? Coal, um, Addy, mithril, iron, 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 copper, tin, um, adamant, coal, and then gold, and then you got the bank right here. So you can just, usually what I did for my level is I just did iron, which is pretty easy uh, to get, and also to smell, it's not that bad of XP. Yeah, that's pretty much all, well I guess there's more to show, I guess, I'm not quite sure. This video is a long, long time. Uh, um, we got the cooking thing right here, which you can just bank and get your cooking XP up, but this is what I used for when I cooked. Apparently, you got a spinning wheel. I didn't even notice they had this until about maybe a week ago. I don't know if I can use it. I right, not. Um, so let's go with the teleports again. So we got. We already went through all these. Um, this jungle right here is for, I do believe, fishing. Hunting grounds, pretty easy. Um, I haven't unlocked some of the things, which I'm. Well, I'm not my main, I forgot. You got the farm patches, which is pretty cool. Actually, I'll just go to it. Why not? I guess this is going to be like an in depth tutorial. <laughs> So you got all the stuff you need to farm, you get the shears, plant fury, compost, I haven't really used the plant gear though. Um, gardening trowel, rake, you got the, I don't even know how to, I'm not going to bother saying that, watering can, you got all different types of seeds, this is all, um, herbs, do we have what they're called, I don't know, is it? Yeah, herbs. So what you want to do is get a rake, get this, put the compost, put the seed, oh, I'm sorry, wait until it grows, and then just pick it up and get XP. You can also multitask by planting it and then going click here and then going to a different plot. And then you can use this plot. It's kind of glitched. You kind of have to rake this part. As you can see, it's kind of like out of the frame. You can have to rake this part and then plant it like right click and click inspect. And I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing. and I kind of forget exactly what I did. So that's with 
um, the farming plots. Now we're going to move on to monster teleports. You got the jungle demons, cave kraken, mythal dragon slash ice warriors, skeleton wolverines. And you got another page, pack yaks, bats, earth warriors, and uh, Taverly dungeon. I'll go into the other spell book and show you guys that too. Um, for the bosses, you got a bunch of bosses lined up. You got the barrel chest, god wars, um, cow fight queen, king black dragon, what even tells you if it's in the wild, which is awesome. Keep going, you got the chaos element, Dagonoth Kings, Giant Mole, Kraken. I have no idea how to say any of that, so I'm not going to say it, but you guys can read it, I guess. <laughs> it's all in the wild, too. And then you got Glod and the Ice Queen. Uh, what else have we got here? I do believe these are the same things. Yes, they are. And then you got the mini games, pretty cool. You got Barrows, Castle Wars, Dual Arena, Pest Control. Barbarian Assault, Jad and Tizar, K. I don't know how to say that, <laughs> and then Warriors Guild. <laughs> um, let me go ahead and move on to the different spell book. Show you guys a little bit. I, I do believe it's only the monsters that changes. Oh wait, I got I just got there. So we got Ape Toll in here, Ape Toll, whatever. Crash Island, Stronghold Security, Training Zone, Ape Toll Dungeon, Brim Maven, Slayer Dungeon, Taverly Dungeon. Lunar Island Edge Road. So you can see the a totally different teleports, which is kind of cool but kind of confusing. Some people might not figure it out until later. I do believe that's the only thing that's different though. Yeah, that's all that's so the monsters is the only thing that's different. Which is pretty cool. Overall, I'm loving this server. It's very well made. Um Oh, I forgot about this guy. This is for uh, rune crafting. Um you can teleport to any any uh Rune place, which is pretty freaking cool. You can also trade him and buy some runes off of him, which I didn't know about. Um, and then you got the teleport, which I do. Yeah, you can teleport to the Abyssal um, Dungeon or the Essential. I usually I go to the Essence Mine. Um, I didn't fully really realize you can go to the guy over there and buy Rune Essence, but they're kind of expensive if you're kind of just starting out, which is pretty cool. Um, we got the Vote Point Shop right here. Um, Oh, I didn't even I actually didn't even see this before. Um, so you got the vote. It's pretty awesome. Um, what else do I need to show you guys? Oh, we also got the commands. Which I am stupid and didn't do this when I first joined. So you got exclamation colon colon players, which show you all the players in the server. Which is pretty awesome. It has a little little box that comes up. She even tells you their rank and everything. Shows you how many people exactly you're on. Um, you got X colon clone playtime, which is obviously shows your playtime on the server. Um, you got Zora, which is a boss. I don't know why they didn't put that in the boss. So maybe it's wasn't able to do something like that. Um, ticket reason, not sure. X colon clone stuck. Pretty sure teleports you to spawn or something like that. Colon clone vote, which I don't think works. I don't know. We got colon clone wiki, colon clone website. You got change password. You got yell, which is for donators plus. Colon clone skull, which I'm guessing skulls you. Let me check that out. Yep. Um, colon colon topic, I have no idea that does. Colon colon thread, no idea that does. Colon colon lighthouse. Colon colon HS high scores. Hit stuff to check. Ten, wait, I have no idea what that means. Colon colon set level, I think this is for admins only, I'm not quite sure. You got claim, you got colon colon staff, drop list. Colon colon prices is very awesome. Um, you got clue guide. Colon colon fixed, resize full. So if I go, if I do um, colon colon full, and then clone clone full again. I'll go back to the full screen. So once you first get the launcher and you d and you double click it, it's gonna be in a very small screen. So what I did is I press clone, type in clone clone full. That makes it full screen, which is awesome. Um, you get clone clone prices for a brand. Yeah, this is new. Um, clone clone DP to see how many donor points you have, which I don't have any because I have a donated. And it says searching for all players. Search. I didn't even notice it shows you the um, players right there. So. I'm sorry this is a 20 long, 20 minute long video, I did not expect it to be this long, but I kind of want to go in depth, show you guys all of what's on the server, and yeah, so I hope you guys have enjoyed, make sure to, I'll have everything down in the description below if you guys want to check it out, and yeah, so I hope you all have an awesome day, and I will see you guys in my next video, bye bye!